Hey guys, this is my final layout for the baguettes competition ending in about seven hours. So as you can see, I'm doing around 82, just about 82. I think it'll settle at 82 later on. So let's say between 81 and 82 baguettes per hour. So let's just rotate this a bit. You can have a look. All right. So the reward will be a bulky storehouse. That would actually uh, help a lot. And then it doesn't give a lot more, but I mean, any extra space will help. Then also remember, even if you don't place in the top 1200, you could still win a NFT. So do at least 10 trades of that. And then baguettes obviously is the boosted stars and then milk was cash boosted. Moving on to the layout. So this is the layout, however, the visualizer and the actual map is not exactly the same. And the reason for this is you will note like this tractor. Oh yeah, okay, so it's not in, but Let's just go back to the other one. You will note like these buildings, they utilize the subgrid placement. So the road is subgrid and then I can place a building in between roads. So that gives us the opportunity to add extra buildings in there. Uh, but the visualizer doesn't accommodate that. There is one in progress from Gem um, Guild, so hopefully that will be up and working properly soon. Um, right, so that is your visualizer more or less. Just gives you an idea, it's not perfect. Next up is skins. Let me hide the camera. Once again, as usual, if you don't have skins, this should be your first priority before any other uh, NFTs. Uh, the reason it gives you the 25% boost, a speed boost and crafting speed boost all across your production, so everything. And you've got to have 10 skins from 10 different packs. Don't get one pack with 10 skins or something like that or uh, multiple from one pack. It's got to be from 10 different packs. Next up is the NFTs. So the NFTs used is first up was the haunted East Wing that gives you passive oil, the water tower, but you could get away with two uh, ponds as well. We'll do almost the same thing, uh, and then the wheat stand, a normal wheat stand just to keep my cows fed so that helps with space a little bit and then lastly is the junior's cabin. I only have one junior's cabin but it gives that little bit of a boost which always helps as well as trees is always important or mostly important. Then last is the ghost carts. Yeah, you can see the ghost carts used can have a look through that just to give you an idea what I've got so that will differ for everybody depending on how you fared in previous competitions and then my second set of ghost cards as well uh, keep in mind ghost cards is no longer uh, given out it's now blueprints um, but your ghost cards are still effective So that is my final layout. Like I said, between 81 and 82, I'm happy with that. That puts me in a position of about 185, 186, yeah, 186, it's fine. 
as long as I'm below 225 I'm happy thank you for watching guys like and subscribe